Hey everybody, this is uh, Archie Bunker, and uh, this is the second part. Uh, we're going to do a direct inverse and joint variation on this part, so there's no board problem with this. You saw that in the last one right here. So direct variation is this, you guys. If y varies directly as x, if you see those words right there, then you have this equation, y equals kx, and k is called the constant of variation. Okay, so let's see. Uh, suppose y varies directly as x, and y equals 27 with that when x equals 6. Find the constant of variation and write an equation of the form y equals kx. And then we're going to use that equation for number 2 uh, to find y when x equals 10. All right, let's go ahead. Um, so uh, since y equals kx, you guys, since they told me y varies directly, y equals kx, so I plugged in 27 for y and then 6 for x, so 27 equals k times 6, and then divide both sides by 6, you get k equals 4.5, so that's my constant of variation. And then now, um, uh, my equation is then y equals 4.5 times x. It said, to, it said first find the constant of variation, and then write the equation, okay? Now we're going to use this equation, y equals 4.5x, and plug in x equals 10 right there. All right, so 4.5 times 10, you get 45. Okay, so G uh, says if, um, if Y varies uh, directly as the cube of X, X cubed, and Y equals 67, negative 67.5 when X equals 3, find X when Y equals negative 540. Okay, remember, Y equals KX. So that negative, uh, in this case, Y equals K times X cubed because it's the cube of X. All right? So what I had to do is, uh, remember, you got to watch that word cube right there. Sometimes it says square root, so it would be square root. So just watch the wording. So there's y, there's x, but it's being cubed, you guys. Okay, so that's 3 cubed is 27. So I'm going to divide both sides by 27, and I get k to be negative 2.5. So here's my equation. y equals negative 2.5x, y equals kx. Okay, so now it says uh, uh, find x when y is negative 540. So I put in negative 540 for that and then, then divided both sides by negative 2.5 and I got 216. All right, inverse variation is if uh, y varies inversely, then you use the equation y equals k over x. All right, so same stuff except you just do y equals k over x. So here we go. If y varies inversely as x, so y equals k over x, and y is 21 when x is 15, find uh, x when y is, is 12, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do 21 equals k over 15. Multiply both sides by 15. I get 315 equals k. So here's my equation. y equals 315 over x. And then, uh, then it says find x when y is 12. So that means 12 equals 315 over x. Multiply both sides by x. I get 12x equals 315. So we get uh, 26.25, okay? So inverse is y equal k over x, direct is y equal kx. Okay, jointly means uh, if, if y varies jointly with x and z, then you use y equals, it's just like direct variation, you guys. Direct means jointly, except it's direct with a couple of things. So y equals kxz. All right, let's try one of these with these little guys here. So if y varies jointly as x and z, and inversely uh, as the square of w, and y equals 15, x equals 3, uh, let's see, z equals 10, w equals 2, <laughs> that's a lot. Find y when x equals 4, z equals 20, and w equals 4. Okay, so since it's uh, inversely, inversely means it goes downstairs, okay, so it's inversely as the square of w, so the w squared goes downstairs because it's inverse, and it's jointly, so k times xc goes on top. And then now it's just fill it in. So this 15 is going to go right here. This x is going to go here. This z is going to go here. And the w is going to be 2 squared goes down there. And then we solve for k. Okay? And I get k equals 2. So now I know it's this. y equals 2xy over w squared. And then you fill in that second half of the part right there. And you end up getting uh, 10 on that. All right?